They believe stole an ambulance on Christmas Day with the crew and a patient still inside. Investigators say 28-year-old Richard Williams is now in the Travis County Jail charged with a second degree felony. But this is not the only case of someone taking a dangerous ride in a stolen ambulance. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller looks at other thefts across Texas and ways to prevent them. This is the end of one patient's ambulance ride in the Dallas area. But unlike most patients, police say this one hopped in the driver's seat and drove off before crashing into a building in July. This video shows another man now convicted of stealing an ambulance after pulling a knife on the driver in Fort Worth. The video shows the man driving at more than 70 miles per hour before plowing through a fence. I think more often than not, it's a crime of opportunity uh, rather than some intentional targeting of an ambulance. Gary Fries is the editor-in-chief of EMS1.com, an industry news and information website. He's also a paramedic. He spoke with us about ways policy and technology can help prevent theft. Uh, the engine is left running, that there's some sort of system in place, either by locking the doors, requiring some sort of uh, key code to be entered before the, the ambulance can be put into drive, or maybe there's a button that needs to be engaged that's not obvious. Austin Travis County EMS confirms it has GPS tracking and a policy to leave ambulances locked when unattended. But with about 80 ambulances and several different models, officials will have to consider not only cost, but compatibility when thinking about upgrades. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. Austin Travis County EMS officials say they are receiving rather reviewing procedures and looking at other possible ways to prevent theft. If you recall, somebody also stole an ambulance from UMC Brackenridge, downtown Austin, early this month. Officers later arrested a suspect in Colleen. We wanted to know what kind of penalty ambulance thieves can face. And Kevin just mentioned this 2015 case out of Fort Worth where a man held the ambulance driver at knife point before he drove off and crashed into a fence. The Tarrant County District Attorney's Office confirms earlier this month that suspect, Kenneth Golightly, was sentenced to 10 years in prison for that crime. He was found guilty of aggravated robbery.